The origin of innovation. In 1748, Francois Bock begins manufacturing pottery in audin le tiche Lorraine. Together with his sons, he pursues a pioneering vision for the period, quality ceramics at a fair price. Soon a new factory is created in nearby Luxembourg. Under the direction of Pierre Joseph Bock, the company becomes a pace setter in the ceramics industry through its early industrial cereal production and it receives the honorary title of Royal and Imperial Manufacturer. The patterns set the standards as well. One particular example is the Brandy pattern, a style that persists throughout the centuries, still available today as a classic design. At the same time, the earthenware manufacturer Nicolas Villeroy also forges ahead with industrial production in nearby Wallerfangen. Among other things, he experiments with new firing techniques, always keeping in mind top quality with the lowest possible costs. In 1812, Jean-Francois Boch, the grandson of the company founder, begins operations of a new factory. In the old Benedictine Abbey in Metlach, systematic mechanization leads to a production standard of path-breaking efficiency and quality. The most important innovations of this period include copper plate printing and coal-fueled kilns, and the introduction of social services for the employees. As companies with related philosophies, Villois and Boch can join, first on a business level, soon thereafter on a familial one. Villois and Boch broadens its product spectrum with the Cristallerie Vadgassen. All signs point towards further expansion. Under the leadership of Eugen Boch, the company conquers the international markets. Whether in Paris, Moscow or New York, Villois and Boch becomes a synonym for quality products. Winning numerous awards at world exhibitions and trade fairs, the brand appeals to the most demanding clientele, including none less than the Bavarian fairy tale king Ludwig II. Artistic design, fair prices and extreme durability. In 1869, the Metlach tiles achieve worldwide success. Inspired by the Roman style of mosaics, the wall and floor tiles become a new mainstay of the company. And a new facet in the collection. At the end of the 19th century, an innovative production technique allows for the mass production of ceramic sanitary wares. Villois and Boch thus stakes its efforts in a new product division and makes bathroom comforts and hygiene available to a broader public. The art and architecture of the early 20th century is marked by the Jugendstil or Art Nouveau and later Bauhaus styles. The company is one of the first to integrate these two aesthetic strains into its product line in cooperation with famous artists. The post-war era stands for reconstruction, also at Villois and Boch, and for a new direction. The company initially concentrates on the European market, focusing primarily on highly practical tableware. Already in the designs of the 1970s, however, the recurring trend for inspiring and unique styles can be seen. Through cooperative efforts with international designers and artists, Villois and Boch leaves its impression on the tableware of the 1980s. Special highlights include the works of Paloma Picasso and Keith Haring in this pioneering marketing measure. The impulses for continued growth don't only come from the successful designs, but also from the conversion of the company into a public limited company. The house of Villois and Boch. This slogan stands for a new and comprehensive lifestyle concept. Shortly thereafter, the four company brands are concentrated into one strong label. With this combined force, the company prepares for the challenges of the new millennium.
a young urban style. Villeroy and Boch sets clear and distinctive accents with the Metropolitan Collection. This success is also based upon the courage to pursue visions in both aesthetics and in technical production. Unique in both its style and production, the new Wave Café Cup receives the renowned German Business Innovation Award. In 2007, the company again has the honor of designing the papal tableware. Now for Pope Benedict XVI. Fascinating realms of products. Today, Villeroy and Boch offers a fitting product for every lifestyle, from classic designs to natural shapes and patterns. The new brand, Vivo, is targeted towards a young, unconventional generation. With fair prices and multifunctional designs, Villeroy and Boch once again opens up new creative perspectives.